I'm Joan. Today I'm going to teach you the minor chords that go with G major. If you're already a music student, then you're probably familiar with the circle of fifths. Today we're going to focus on the chords related to G major only. So I've done a YouTube video previously on the G major chords and um, so we have G major, and let's review real quick. We have G major, and that's made up of G, B, and D. And then we've got the C major chord, which is made up of C, E, and G. And we've got the D major chord, which is made up of D, F sharp, and A. Okay, so let's find G. If you don't know where G position is, um, real easy to find. Take your two and three, or your index and your middle finger of your right hand. Find the group of two black notes closest to the middle of the keyboard. Play that. Now slide with your two to the nearest note to the left. That is middle C. Put your thumb there and you got C, D, E, F, G. So put your thumb or your one on G. So now you've got one on G, two on A, three on B, four on C, and five on D. Now we're only looking for the major chord. So the major chord in the root position is one on G, three on B, and five on D. Okay, now let's find G major position for your left hand. So you'll take your two and three with your left hand. Find the group of two black notes closest to the middle of the keyboard. Play that. Now with your three, you're going to slide to the nearest note to the left. That's middle C. Now we're going to go down the keyboard. So you've got C. What comes before C? B. What comes before B? A. And then what comes before A? G. Okay, so you will put your five on G. So you got your 5 on G, 4 on A, 3 on B, 2 on C, 1 on D. Now we're only looking for the G major chord, so G, B, and D, 5, 3, and 1. Now let's play those together. Okay, now look at the G major chord in your right hand. Now find the G major chord in your left hand. Now let's go from G major to C major. So we've got G, A, B, C. Now you're going to put your 1 on C, your 5 on C in your left hand, 1 on C, 3 on E, and 5 on G. So your 5 on C, your 3 on E, and your 1 on G. Okay, your C major. Now let's find D major. So you've got A, B, C, D, C. Now what comes after C is D. So we've got one on D, three on F sharp, five on A. So that's five on D, three on F sharp, and one on A. So we've reviewed the three major chords. Now let's go to the minor chords. So we've got, uh, we're in the key of G major. So there are three minor chords associated with G major, and that is A minor, B minor, and E minor. So what comes right after G is A. So A minor, let's find A major first. So A major is made up of A, and then C sharp, and then E. How does that sound? Sounds happy? A, C sharp, E. Okay, now to find the minor, the A minor chord, we're going to flatten the middle note. So instead of playing C sharp, we're going to play just regular C. So that's A, C, and E. Now how does that sound? Similar. 
there's A major. Now here's A minor. Sounds sad, gloomy, happy, A major, sad, A minor. Okay, so now we know that A minor chord is made up of A, C, and E. So that with your left hand, that is five, three, and one on A, C, and E. With your right hand, that is one, three, and five, A, C, E. Okay, let's move on to B minor. So you've got A, B. So right after A is B. So let's find B major first. B major is made up of B, D sharp, and F sharp. B, D sharp, F sharp. Now, explaining sharps in full is a whole other video. I'm not going to go into that right now because it just take up too much time. So, for now, we'll focus on D sharp and F sharp and kind of give you an idea of what a sharp is. So we have A, B, C, D, and then E. Now D sharp is the note that comes right in between D and E. It's a note to the immediate right of a note. Okay, so D sharp, the next note right above it is, well, D. The next note right above D is D sharp. And that comes right in between D and E. So, We'll put our three on D sharp. Now to find F sharp, it's the same idea. So you've got F. Now to find F sharp, that is a note that goes in between F and G. Now that happens to be this black note right here. So five, three, one. D, D sharp, and F sharp. Now with our right hand, we're going to find B our one on B, our three on D sharp, and our five on F sharp. Okay, now that sounds happy and jolly. So, how do you find the minor? Same principle. You take the middle note and you flatten it. In our case, we're going to make it, so that will be B, a natural D, and F sharp. So, B, natural D, F sharp. So we play that with our five on B, three on natural D, and then one on F sharp. That's in our left hand. With our right hand, we're going to play our one on B, our three on natural D, and our five on F sharp. Sounds gloomy, sounds sad, sounds ugh. Okay, now here's B major. Sounds good. B minor. Okay, so let's move on. We've covered A minor, B minor. Now there's one more minor associated with G major, and that is E minor. So we go G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so let's put our five. In our left hand on E. Okay, now to find E major, let's. E major is made up of E, G sharp, and B. So G sharp is a note right in between G and A. So that's five, three, and one. Five on E, three on G sharp, one on B. Let's find that with our right hand. So we've got one on E, three on G sharp, and five on B. Okay, now let's make that a an E minor chord. So we're going to flatten that G sharp. We're going to make it a regular G. So five on E, three on natural G, and one on B. Same thing with your right hand. One on E, three on natural G, and five on B. Okay, let's go back 
back to E major. Okay, now let's flatten that G sharp to just G. Happy, sad, gloomy. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, G major is made up of G major, G major chord, G, B, and D. And then you've got C major, C, E, and G. And then you've got D major, D, F sharp, A. And then you've got its three minors. So you've got A minor, A, C, B. You've got B minor, B, D, F sharp. And then you've got E minor, which is going to be E, G, and B. Okay, well, if you're learning a song by ear, and um, especially worship songs do this a lot, you'll find that... Um, they'll use a lot of the minors. They'll be playing in the key of G major and then they'll go to E minor and then they'll go to C and then they'll go to D and then they'll go back to G. So having a working knowledge of these six chords, three major, three minor, will help you be able to pick that out. So if you know that in the key of G major that there's quite a possibility it's going to go to A minor, B minor, or E minor. Well, whenever you hear that minor, you could throw one of those three in there, and voila, I'm sure you'll probably find it, unless it's an accidental. But it all depends on the song and the genre of music. Well, if this video has helped you, hit the like and subscribe button right underneath the video. Um, so next video, I'm going to show you how to take these six chords and apply them to playing Oh How I Love Jesus in the key of G major. And uh, let's see, I'm going to show you how to play it with the major and the minor chords. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope that helped and thanks for watching.